All right, so the impoverished Southern belle, Joelle Daughtry, has a secret. Local author Beth White revealing what it is in her new book, Reluctant Belle. This is a book that officially releases today. It tells the story of a woman who just after the Civil War wants to establish a school to teach freed slaves in Mississippi. So we have the author of this book in the studio to talk more about it. Beth White, thank you for stopping by. Oh, thank you for having me. So we were chatting and I wanna kinda get into uh, your history, if you will, before okay. we talk about the book. This is number 19 for you collectively. Right. Yes, yes. When did you start writing? Because you say you teach music. I do. I'm a chorus teacher at Davidson High School. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been writing since I was very young, yeah. uh, keeping journals and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. I've always been a reader. Uh, but I began writing seriously when my children were small mm -hmm. and fi finally finished a book when my children were about in early middle school age. Mm -hmm. And uh, I realized that I could finish a book, which is kind of a thing. <laughs> it is. <laughs> not, it is. Not many people do that. Mm -hmm. So I joined a, a local writers organization uh, with s several published authors who live here on the co on the coast and they kind of mentored me, mm -hmm. uh, drew me into teaching, uh, taught me how to, how to teach, uh, write fiction, yeah. which is quite different than academic. Mm -hmm. right? it, well, because you have to develop the character exactly. and everything about that character. Right. So in talking now about our reluctant bell here, where did that story come from? From. It is fiction, but did you draw it from any kind of other story maybe you may have heard? Well, it is uh, it is historical fiction set during the Reconstruction okay. era, so I heavily researched um, both Civil War and after the Civil War, and it's very, very interesting. Uh, lots of surprising uh, history about mm -hmm. that period. But so I, I knew I wanted to set it during that period, but I, um, I, I needed a three book series. So I thought, okay, three sisters, I'm mm -hmm. one of four. Uh, so, uh, and, a, and one of my sisters is extremely introverted. And so I've kind of picked personality characteristics yeah. from you know my, my family and myself mm -hmm. and kind of plug them into characters so my this, the heroine of, of this book is very uh, book bookish introverted she's a writer I don't know anybody like that <laughs> <laughs> yeah not at all so how long does it take you to do something like this well, I tell my husband all the time that I have the equivalent of probably several PhDs because it takes about, it takes a year to research mm -hmm. and then another year or so to, to do the writing. And it's a constant cycle uh, mm -hmm. of writing. Uh, I'm, I'm developing one book as I'm writing the next one, as I'm releasing wow. the next one. So it's, a, it's like a, a cyclical thing, about a year. Mm -hmm. Without giving too much away, what can you tell your readers to expect in this one? Oh, there's humor. Uh, my, these people are pretty funny. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's a mystery thread that they're trying to uh, find uh, the, the, uh, the perpetrator of a race mm -hmm. riot in, uh, that happened in Tuscaloosa. This is a, a real riot that happened in Meridian, Mississippi, and then mm -hmm. I just kind of moved yeah. it a little bit. But so it's some real, mm -hmm. some real pretty devastating events. But in short, she is masquerading as a guy. It, it looks that way. She's okay. a she's a writer, and she writes anonymously okay. as a male writer, mm -hmm. and so nobody knows who she is. But mm -hmm. it, that does come to light during the course of the story, of okay. course. So you're having a book signing coming up. I am June the twenty second. The uh, Sims uh, Regional Library will be hosting me there, mm -hmm. and this is the first time I've done anything wow. with the public library, which is kind of ridiculous in a way, but. Um, I, because I've always loved public li the public mm -hmm. library, and so and yeah. also any other locations. Uh, for right now, that's that's the one that that's scheduled, okay. and so there there should be some more coming along. All right. Well, listen, the reluctant bell. This is number two. Yes. So we've got to wait to see how it all comes to an end in number three. Yes, right, right. Okay. This one has this one will wrap up at the end, yeah. but it's but the the series are all connected by an overarching. All right. Well, mystery. It's, it is described as historical fiction, but also inspirational as well. Right. I want to thank you for stopping by and sharing some of your work with us. And that book signing is coming up, so go by, get the book, <laughs> and then read it, and then have it signed. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Thanks so much for having. Me. I appreciate it. And we'll be sure to have this posted on our YouTube page so you can watch it and share it with someone you know. Look for it shortly and be sure that you subscribe to the Fox 10 YouTube channel. Thanks.